grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I denounce Democrat depravity. After the Civil War, an unrepentant slavery party used the Ku Klux Klan and other thugs to terrorize blacks. Alabama Republican Congressman Charles Hayes wrote about it to Connecticut Republican Senator Joseph Hawley. The letter, dated September 7, 1874, was widely republished. Conscientious Northerners were appalled by the savagery. Quote, the spirit of rebellion against the laws and government of the United States, to extinguish which so many great, brave and gallant men laid down their lives, still exists in the hearts of many misguided people. They embrace every opportunity to commit deeds of lawlessness and crime that are everlasting stigmas upon the fair name of the nation and an open insult to the flag of our country. I had fondly hoped that the reign of terror in the South was over and that peace, goodwill, and prosperity might henceforth reign supreme. In this hope, I was sadly disappointed. Today, riots, murders, assassinations, and torturing for the purpose of terrorizing the true friends of the government are more common than they have been at any hour since Lee surrendered to Grant. Unless the strong arm of federal power can avert the calamity, I can see nothing in the future save gloom and despair to the loyal men of the South, ruin to the material interests of the country, and death to those of us who uphold the honor and integrity of the nation. As long as life lasts, let me appeal to my Northern friends to stand by and protect those sable sons of the South who have never sung a song, a song unless it was one dedicated to liberty and to union. Shall I not bear the persecuted people of all races the glad tidings that a better day is dawning, that a day of peace may soon come and bring it with it the blessings of home and happiness it is my sincere desire. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.